So recently here on the channel we've been looking at some great top 10s and some gems for the PS3, games that you should consider downloading from the PSN store. If there's particular games that you're going to want to have on your PS3 before the PSN store closes later this year. Before we get any further into this video today, I just wanted to cover, someone reached out to me and asked that I could share this petition in today's video. Now this is over at change.org.uk. I've included the link to this petition down in the video description. So here we can have a chance to get our vote registered to show to Sony Look, this is how many thousand people have signed this petition and we want you to reconsider, can the PSN store remain? Maybe they will read this and listen, but there's a good chance that they won't at all. But it's worth a try, so let's get signed over on this at change.org.uk if you want your vote to be counted. And just maybe they might consider changing their mind on this topic. This topic for me is somewhat of a shitstorm and I know it's something that's really popular at the moment because it's driving a lot of interaction from us gamers who love our games and we don't want to see our ability to kind of preserve these games and be able to download them in the future to be a thing that's completely lost and the fact that you might not have preservation of these games, you may not be able to download and access them again in the future and what happens if there's issues with our consoles they get corrupted or the internal clock dies and then you potentially are then no longer in the future able to connect to Sony to actually even be able to play the games that you've already downloaded. So the PSN is really popular and loads of us gamers add to our digital libraries I mean, I personally am a physical gamer, I try to stick to a lot of physical media, but that's probably one for another video. Today we're focusing on digital content. So I think we all kind of realise that when you're buying digitally online, you're kind of purchasing a licence to be able to play said game, and you don't actually own it. But I mean, there's a lot of people that have spent a lot of money on their PSN accounts, and that might be the actual only way that people play. So the fact that you no longer are going to be able to purchase those games in future, or we know there could potentially be issues with the console where you might not be able to play them at all, is just quite a worrying thing. For me, that's something I take a big issue with, but at the same time, it's like, honestly, I made a top 10 gems video only a couple of weeks ago, and I actually downloaded myself a couple of the PS1 gems that I didn't have in my library, and I needed that to actually be able to A, make the video, and B, because I did want them in my library. But it's so, so worrying, guys, that here in the UK, in the UK store, some of the PS1 classics have started to disappear already. That is it, guys. I'm not even joking. I've downloaded some great PS1 classics, such as like Tomba, Tombi, and Gaia Seed. There are a couple that I have seen. They're really, really rare physicals. They're very expensive to pick up. So to download them to have them on your console is a really good way to play those games. But for the UK store, they have gone already. Within weeks of the news coming out about the rumors of the PSN disappearing, why at this point have they started removing these games from the UK store? Why only the UK store? Are they next gonna hit the US store, the North American store, the Japan store? Like, a lot of us personally don't know what is going on. Why is there this panic? Are they removing things now so that we can't have them in our library? It's really worrying, like how many other titles are gonna completely disappear now from the PlayStation Network over the next few weeks or months? So that when we know the deadline, I think it's in July, when we can no longer download anything else. You know, if you leave it till like June, July, will there be nothing available already at that point? Are they just removing some of the classics for PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2? Will there just be some of the PSN, PS3 exclusives that are on there still until the date when the store winds up? We just don't know. So guys, I want to know your thoughts. Do you have any more information on this? Do we know why some items are disappearing from the store? Let me know down in the comments. Which other games have you seen to disappear that are no longer available in your region? We need to discuss this. What are your thoughts on the PSN store closure? Are you absolutely furious at Sony, thinking why are they doing this? 
I mean, if we see in the license agreement, they're within their right to discontinue services, but I kind of think it gets to this point and people kind of forget that that's going to be a thing. And we, we don't really know what the consequences of this long term are going to be. What's your thoughts generally on this closure and what does it mean for you? Let me know down in the comments, guys. If you've enjoyed this topic and you want to see more retro gaming stuff, retro gaming news, hit that subscribe button, guys, and I'll see you in a future upcoming video. Yes, mate.